Octagon, uh, the concept and the, the tours have been happening now for quite some time. I believe, if I'm not wrong, the first one was in 1999 uh, and was uh, a little bit the brainchild of George Zuckerman, who uh, is a bassoonist who lives in Vancouver. Um, and uh, at, at several intervals, what, what Octagon has done is uh, basically assemble uh, notable Canadian uh, musicians that love chamber music to, to come together and play uh, the Schubert Octet, hence the number of players and, and the name Octagon, uh, often paired with the Beethoven Septet. And I believe on some tours they also commissioned a, a, a Canadian composer to write a work to go along with that. Uh, so it, it's a really great happening because uh, I would say due to um, you know the size of the ensemble, it's fairly rare that you would get a tour of, of the Beethoven Septet or the Schubert Octet. I mean, it's, it's kind of like touring a, a small orchestra. For their instrumentation, I guess, they, these were the sort of pioneering works of that genre. And to pair, uh, in the case of, of uh, the Schubert Octet, uh, an entire string quartet plus bass with uh, three winds, the clarinet, bassoon, and horn, uh, I mean, it, it just, uh, I would say it opens, uh, opens up the possibilities of, of, uh, of, of sound landscapes, I would say, you know, and sound worlds. I think it, it, it was really quite revolutionary to, to, to think of that um, uh, format within the bounds of chamber music, which, uh, you know, ironically, it retains a great deal of intimacy yet at the same time, uh, sometimes it literally does sound like a symphony orchestra in, in front of you when we all, when we all really get going. So, so these, are, these are neat works and they, they are, they're not easy, uh, especially for, for the leading violin role. I would say in the, in the septet there's one violin, so I'm not playing the, in the septet on this tour. But that, that is uh, itself like a, like a fiddle concerto. And, um, uh, as is the first violin part of the Schubert Octet. There's some very, very tricky and very awkward play. And in, in both works, actually, there's a, a good deal of back and forth between the violin and the clarinet. So those are sort of the, the main protagonists, I would say. But everybody does get, you know, moments here and there where, where they, they stand out and shine. So. Uh, it's neat. It's it's a great uh, it's great fun to put these works together, and uh, I have actually known several of of my octagon colleagues for for years and years, and uh, I'm really thrilled for the chance to be able to get back and play with them. Well, performing, I don't know, but uh, certainly rehearsing, we, we, we have a good time. We have a good laugh, and of course, it's very serious work. We, we you know, uh, these pieces are not to be trifled with, but um, I think that every one of us has played these pieces, you know, quite a few times, if not, you know, the proverbial million. <laughs> and uh, we know the pitfalls, we know what to, to, to look for. And uh, I, I was greatly relieved because there are, there are some people in this ensemble that I, I hadn't met. But when we sat down and started to play, and, and more importantly, when we started to discuss and actually rehearse, uh, I was so relieved to know that there was a, a, everybody has an easygoing nature. Everybody wants to make it the best it can be. Uh, but it's it's all cool. I mean, we're we're all we're all friendly. There there are no acrimonious. Well, so far it's <laughs> only been one rehearsal, but I I really can't imagine any sort of acrimonious uh, disagreements over style or tempo or whatever. We're we're all very experienced at, at that kind of thing. We've we've all played in in ensembles, and and you know we I think we all know the pitfalls. So basically, from the word go, I, I would say it was. You know, it was a typical gathering of Canadians. We're all we're all polite and, and pleasant, eh? <laughs> I hope that they take away a sense of awe for those two great works 
and uh, a sense of elation at uh, having heard eight people that really love what they're doing come together and make music. <laughs>